SRM College of Agricultural Sciences under SRM Institute of Science and Technology is situated at Babarain Pete region of Chengalpattu district covering an area of 325 acres this premium institute is offering undergraduate and postgraduate programs in agriculture and horticulture the academic block offers primary facility for teaching research and outreach activities related to agricultural sciences and practices with the help of well equipped state of art technological laboratories smart classrooms and digitalized library I am Dr. Shiv Kumar, Department of Agronomy, Specialization with Conservation Agricultural Practices. We are standing in the laboratory of agronomy. So in, the, in this laboratory, the students will learn about the practical aspects of the seed identifications, the fertilizers, and micro irrigation system. Soil Science Laboratory renders hands-on training to the students in determining soil health, plant nutrients, and water quality. and also conducts research on soil management practices and provides recommendation for sustainable agriculture hi uh, here dr muthukumar the central instrumentation facility is housing with high end research equipments to provide uh, facilities to the students uh, research scholars faculties and uh, nearby institutions genetics and plant breeding and agricultural biotechnology laboratories focuses on the development of new crop varieties and employ advanced techniques to develop genetically modified organisms for agricultural improvement myself dr s ambika working as an assistant professor in the department of seed science and technology in this laboratory students learn identification of the seeds various methods of seed germination test dormancy breaking methods for different crops myself dr anbukarasi assistant professor and lab in charge of microbiology and environmental science laboratory this laboratory well equipped with instrument needed for teaching and demonstration purpose here we teach the students for isolation and identification of the beneficial microorganism from the soil and also the plant myself dr k prakash assistant professor department of post harvest technology so this is the post harvest management laboratory so here we are doing all the post harvest operations after harvesting of produce so actually the post harvest loss of agricultural produce is about 40 to 70 percent so the main aim of this laboratory is to minimize the post harvest loss and increase the shelf life of agricultural produce i am dr deepika assistant professor from the department of fruit science SRM CAS this is our fruit science laboratory here students are trying to, to analyze physico chemical properties of the fruit crops by using specific equipments like uv spectrophotometer digital penetrometer hand and digital refractometer and lux meter floriculture and landscape architecture laboratory imparts knowledge on landscape architecture designs using autocad software This lab also trains the farmers on value addition of flower crops and business aspirants on bouquet making. Myself Dr. Adi Ramesh Kumar working as assistant professor in horticulture specialization in vegetable science. Now we are in vegetable science lab. This lab demonstrates the various crafting methods in vegetable and spices. In the plant pathology laboratory students learn about the diseases of field and horticultural crops and their management by observing microscopic views of pathogenic structures Entomology laboratory educates the students on insect morphology insect physiology taxonomy of insects different crop pests and their management Audio visual lab is meant for teaching the students on media mix strategies and also helps the institute in digitalizing the advanced agricultural technologies for the benefit of farmers. Language laboratory is another crown to this institution encouraging the students to use information communication technology for effective content delivery. For data analysis purpose Agricultural Economics Computer Laboratory is utilized with the help of softwares like 
DSTAT and SPSS. I am Dr. S. Geetha, Associate Professor in Biochemistry and Head of the Department of Basic Sciences. This is our Biochemistry lab where the students analyze, extract and analyze various biomolecules present in various plant samples. I am uh, Dr. A. Mohamed Ashraf, uh, working as Assistant Professor Agronomy in SRM College of Agriculture Sciences. In this course, the students learning all the crop management practices like uh, from nursery preparation till the harvest of the crop. I am Dr. Kode Sheshatri, Professor and Head, Department of Natural Resource Management. And here, the students are learning in the agroforestry class about the Miyawaki plantation. Myself, Dr. B. Gopu, uh, working as an assistant professor in the Department of uh, Fruit Science. So this is Archard Block. Uh, we have uh, 23 acres of uh, Archard with a different kind of fruit crops. Uh, myself, Dr. Dharani, working as an assistant professor in Agrometrology under the Department of Natural Resource Management. Our SRM CAS is having a B-class observatory. Myself, Dr. A. Rajesh Kumar, working as assistant professor agronomy and farm manager. Right now, we are standing in the integrated farming system sites. Here, the integrated farming system in the sense in the combination of all the farm enterprises like cropping, animal production, poultry, fishery, agroforestry to have an efficient and sustained agricultural production by utilizing the, all the resources. This is Dr. Melvin Jo, Assistant Professor in Agricultural Microbiology. This is a biofertilizer production unit. Uh, in this unit, uh, we are dealing basically with the isolation of my microorganisms from the soil. Sericulture is one of the commercial ventures in agriculture which focus on silkworm rearing and cocoon production. Myself, Dr. J. K. Dines, working as assistant professor in NNON Talsens. Now we are in the experiential learning unit of vermicomposting. Here students are learning about how to prepare vermicompost and composting. By utilizing this compost, we can able to increase the soil health and soil organic carbon. SRM CIS has a museum which exhibits hundreds of tools and implements used in traditional agriculture. Two veterinary doctors have been appointed as assistant professors for teaching and to take care of the animal health. The college also offers additional amenities which includes open amphitheater, transport facilities, soundproof seminar hall and auditorium. Staff quarters. General store. Refreshment center. Clinic. Separate gymnasium for boys and girls. ATM facility. 24 bar 7 ambulance service. CCTV surveillance uninterrupted Wi-Fi facility and power supply. As an eco-friendly initiative, the college also implemented wastewater treatment unit. The NCC and NSS wing of the college plays a crucial role in fostering discipline, patriotism and community service among students. To promote physical health and mental well-being SRM CAS has developed a well-equipped sports infrastructure to practice sports and games and provide opportunities for excellence. To add more glory to the campus, a botanical garden have also been developed with a curated collection of living plants for scientific 
educational and ornamental purposes, providing the students with opportunities to learn about plant diversity and conservation efforts. The future of agriculture education and research is an exciting frontier where sustainable practices, cutting-edge technologies and interdisciplinary collaboration will ensure a prosperous future for generations to come. Let us join forces to shape the future of agriculture and make a meaningful impact on our planet.